trust me. I know what I'm doing. Eating on duty is against hospital rules. You know that. Sorry, Nurse Robbins. You should be making your rounds. Today. I haven't seen so many unhappy faces since my wedding reception. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, Commissioner, I'm doing the best I can. Captain, what's with all these people here today? <sighs> Their parents adore all, and every one of them is hysterical. Wait, this is a precinct, not a not an encounter group. If a man and a woman have problems, they should settle them the way my wife and I did with a divorce. Those civilians out there need our help. The newborn babies were abducted last night. A lot of people out there, Captain. How many infants were involved? The entire nursery at City General Hospital was cleaned out. Yeah, talk about robbing the cradle, huh? Hammer, have you no compassion for what those people are going through? Of course I do. I have suffered a sense of loss just like everybody else. I lost my luggage once. I was torn up about it for weeks. Well, I'm glad to hear you feel that way, Sledge. Yeah. Captain, I request that Hammer and I be assigned this case. No, wait, no, whoa, no, huh, no, wait, I, no, I don't do this. I'm in homicide. I deal in scum suckers, not thumb suckers. Captain, who could be behind such a despicable crime? Obviously a baby selling ring, Doro. Kind of back alley racketeers that steals babies and sells them to childless couples for exorbitant sums. Oh, uh, kind of a mom and pop operation, huh? Oh. No, wait, oh. look, I'm trying to get a handle on this, all right? I mean, come in. Could someone please help us? We've been here for over an hour. Oh, I'm sorry. These officers will be happy to assist you. Yes, we can uh, talk in the office next door, right this way. Hammer. I have great trepidation about putting you on this case. The thought of you coming within five miles of a baby scares the hell out of me. Me too. This is very upsetting. Yes, I understand. Now, can you describe what was your baby's name? Well, we were just about to find a name. And then he was stolen. How about Rob? I'm sorry. I don't know where my head's at. Could you describe your baby for me, please? Doreau have a heart. They hardly had a chance to get to know their kid. Besides, he's seen one, you've seen them all. I'll bet even I can describe him. Small and bald. Am I right? Oh, no. Uh, actually, Inspector Hammer, our boy had fair hair and blue eyes like his mother. Okay. Well, let's sort of move on with this, all right? Height? Oh, uh, well, he was about uh, 18 inches long. Weight? Uh, six pounds, 11 ounces. Any distinguishing scars or tattoos? Hammer, please. What? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. You know, I've been putting out a lot of warmth and understanding here, and I've been getting none of it back. That'll be all. Thank you. Wait, uh, one last question. Did your child have any enemies? Hammer! It's a newborn baby. Newborn babies don't have enemies. I did. Mr. and Mrs. Yates, you have my word. We are going to find your baby and get him back to you. That's a promise. Bro, 
Bureau, what are you doing? Cops can't go around making promises they can't keep. That writer's reserved for the president. Why are you in such a hump over solving this case? I don't know. Maybe it's my maternal instincts coming into play. Maternal instincts? Oh, it's disgusting. It is? I always assumed you were the one who thought women should be barefoot and pregnant. Are you kidding? I encourage women to wear shoes. This spot is reserved for the handicapped. Hey, stuff it, buddy. If I park any other place, it's too far to walk. Walking is good for you. I guess now you're going to have to try it. Dr. Bowman, 304. Dr. Bowman. We're looking for Lavina Robbins, the head nurse around here. It's through those doors. Well, I mean, you can't go in there. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? Sir? Who, who are you? Uh, this is a very private moment. Not anymore, it isn't. Uh, What's going on here? Remember, that woman is about to uh, give birth. Uh, Sledge, are you telling me you've never seen a baby being born before? No, I haven't. <clears throat> Childbirth is for women. The baby's coming, I can see him. Isn't it wonderful? No, it's awful. I'm not going to be able to eat lunch for a month. I demand that the two of you leave this instant. I'm Inspector Sledgehammer. I'm here in police business. I want to talk to you about those missing kids. Look, I have told the police everything I know. Hey, you over there, huh? Would you please keep the baby quiet? Hammer, be reasonable. It's a newborn baby. Darrow, parents have got to supervise their children. Hey, have you ever been in a movie theater when one of them dang tykes is wailing over your shoulder? I'm amazed. I had no idea that a policeman could be so callous towards an infant. Well, look who's talking, eagle eyes. You just let 12 of them slide right out from under your nose. This isn't a hospital, it's the Bermuda Triangle. I have been a registered nurse for over 15 years. My maternity ward has the finest reputation in this city. Well, speaking personally, I wouldn't have a pizza delivered here. Nurse Robbins, we are more concerned with recovering the babies than protecting a reputation. Do you remember anything at all that could help us? No, I cannot. I'm not a detective. Yeah, you're not much of a nurse either. As far as I'm concerned, this interview is over. Excuse me? I have an umbilical cord to cut. Well, it's about time you cut it. I got a cousin who's 32 years old, and he's still living with his mother and father. And I strongly urge you parents to discipline this child starting today. Constant spankings are the reason I turned out all right. Duro. Duro, come on. Come on, come on. What are you doing? Sleeping on the job is for air traffic controllers, not cops. Sorry, Sledge. Been up all night. I'm trying to find a line on those missing kids. I didn't find a thing. Sledge, I made a promise to that Yates couple. Doro, I told you, don't make promises you can't keep. You're just lucky my informant, Shy Eddie, claims to have the link to locating these young'uns. I'm supposed to meet him in a car wash in half an hour. I'm coming with you. OK, all right. Just whatever you do, don't look at him. Everybody. Don't look at me! You didn't say you're gonna bring a date, Sledge. That happens to be my partner, Dory Duro. Resist all urges to look at him! It shouldn't be so hard, lady. I got a face that even my mother couldn't love. Drive the car wash, Sledge! Well, this is an inspired idea. I'm sure nobody could possibly overhear us here. Yeah, plus I'd never ever get my car washed. Okay, Stooley. What's the story on these missing kids? Give me the money first. Slash, 
Sludge. Sludge, your window won't roll up. That's right. Oh, I, I just remembered why I never, ever get my car washed. What? You, don't, don't, get, get, ah! get, you fake. We could have done this over the phone. Seems like a good idea at the time. I don't look at me. Just be inconspicuous. Perhaps you should give us the information you came for. Well, sure, sure, just go to the Bayside Adoptive Agency. And do what? Did you act like you got a lot of bucks. Don't look at me! Wait a minute! 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 Wait I'll just go down and torture him and get him to confess. Remember, you can't do that. We have to catch them in the act. They'll pose as a married couple with a lot of money and see if they'll sell us a baby. Think anybody will believe we're married? They have a tough enough time believing that we're partners. Now, let's see if I understand you, Mr. and Mrs. Hammer. You're asking for a fair-haired, blue-eyed infant boy, approximately 6 pounds, 11 ounces, 18 inches long? Yeah, that's right. You see, I won big at the racetrack yesterday, and I figured either I'd get a new sports car or a kid, and then I decided on the kid because they need less attention. He's joking, of course. Oh, no, hardly the case. No, my husband and I realize the seriousness of the adoption procedure. We just hope we're in the right place. This is the right place for parents we deem eligible. <laughs> How's that for eligibility? Ought to make me father of the year, right? Mr. Hammer, we don't sell babies. We place them. Actually, what my husband is trying to say is, we'd like to try and expedite the usual screening period. We're desperate to have a child. And he can't father a child himself. You should be thankful for that. Look, lady, what is the matter with you, huh? I got money coming out of my ears, and you are standing in the way of giving a kid a good home. You ought to see my place. I mean, I got everything. I got a hot tub, a barbecue pit, a pool table. I have a whole large collection of adult films on videotape and a Doberman that needs a playmate. So Please what's the problem? Please leave now. And there's a stewardess that lives next door who likes to sunbathe nude, and I need a little tot to put on my shoulders to help to steady the binoculars. Get out! I wouldn't place Lizzie Borden with you people. That's OK. I wouldn't take her. I ordered a boy. Thanks for your time. Well, did I make it clear I had money? Hammer, this place is legitimate. Your stool is all wet. Oh, take it easy, Darrell. You want to walk home? Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Hammer. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation with Miss Calder. Why is that? I was listening in. If you two are really serious about getting a baby immediately, um, here's a name and number. But it will cost. You've answered our prayers. Should we pay you now or later? Oh. N no, I never handle the money personally. He'll come to your home. But please, remember to mention my name, Margaret. That way I'll get my commission. Oh, don't worry, Margaret. You'll get what's coming to you. All right, Darrell, please. Here, come on. What? No, you're invading my privacy, all right? I'm sorry, Sledge. I couldn't help but notice the picture. It's my first arrest. You should have seen the one that got away. Yeah, well, we better hide it or the baby brokers will know we're cops. Well, oh. This isn't what I expected at all. You know, it actually looks like a human being lives here. Oh, thanks, Darrell. You know, I can't believe I'm letting a common slime ball into my apartment. Bad enough that you're here. That must be that scum sucking stork now. Oh, 
Hello. Shut up, lady. Let's get out of business. Good. I won't have to serve coffee. Sit down. So, you're the two losers who ordered the uh, fair-haired, blue-eyed rug rat? Yeah, that's right. We want a wasp. W-A-S-P. A-S-A-P. You got a bundle of cash, I got a bundle of joy. What, just like that? You're just gonna leave a baby in, in our care? Or you don't even know anything about us? Okay, lady. Uh, do you want a TV? Yes. Color or black and white? Color? That's good enough for me, your model parents. That'll be $50,000. Well, $50,000 is a lot of money. Uh, give us a little time to think it over. Hey, I thought you wanted a baby, baby. Hey, what's with each? Well, uh, actually, it's uh, my husband and I like to play games. Oh, it keeps the marriage exciting. <laughs> no wonder you want to buy a kid from me. Listen, friend, we'd like to get our family started just as soon as possible, so can I get that money to you tonight? Fine. I'll call you turkeys tonight with the time and place. Ciao. me down here on such short notice. The hospital was swamped. Shut your trap about the stinking hospital. Hey, if it wasn't for me risking my neck at that stinking hospital, you wouldn't have any babies to sell. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I got a rush job for you. I got to get the Yates kid back. I got clients who pay double for a brat like him. He's got new owners. What am I supposed to do if they refuse, huh? Repossess him. I don't give a damn what it takes. Just get him back. Right now, I clearly see there's nothing remotely human about you. Yeah, well, that's why Mom liked me best. Not true. She hated us both. Jeez. It wasn't easy putting this kind of cash together on such short notice, you two. You know what happens if you lose this money? The mayor has to skip lunch? The risk is worth it, Captain. It's for the lives of innocent children. Hammer, I don't want you to let this briefcase out of your sight for one second, you understand? You've made your point, sir. Hammer, the briefcase! How many times do you have to count it? It's all there. $50,000. Look, we kept our end of the bargain. How about yours? Don't push me, Mama. You'll have your baby soon enough. Uh, in the meantime, you want some refreshments? We got strained pears, strained prunes, uh, applesauce. How about some pavlum? We didn't come here to eat. Look, let's just get this over with, all right? Hog breath. Couldn't get the Yates to get back in the... Cops! Oh, you fool, the police! Nurse Robbins, I knew you were behind this. When did you figure it out? He walked in just now. She's mine, Hammer!
Face it, Nurse Robbins. You'll never get away from me. Give yourself up right now. Pyramid scheme, huh? are out of jail, those kids will be grandparents. You're the most disgusting act since Donnie and Marie. Now, where are those children? I ain't talking like me with my lawyer. Would you prefer to meet your maker? Hey, lighten up, palsy. You'll get them all back. It's all in the files. All right, come on. Hammer, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, yeah. Well, we'll rough them up in the car. No! The money. Ah. Hammer, Doro, in spite of my reservations about assigning one of you to this case, I'd like to commend you for recovering all the kidnapped babies. You don't have to thank me, Captain. I made a promise. I really wouldn't have been able to do it without Hammer's help. Enough endorsement. Excuse us, Captain. We just wanted to thank Detective Doro and Inspector Hammer personally. Inspector, we are so grateful. Yeah. We want to name our baby after you. What is your first name? Sledge. Sledge. Oh, maybe we'll just send you a fruitcake, right, honey? <laughs> yes. <laughs> would you like to hold him? No. Oh, I know no. you would. No, no, I can't. You... These things make me uncomfortable. Oh, honey, take a snap for our album. No, 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 really. Smile. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Get this kid out of town. 